Sup dudes, it's TDG, and I am here with another little walkthrough of, um, a video. Uh, the, here I'm drawing the, uh, character, um, Morana is her name. She is the goddess of Dracomir, and this is a redesign of her, just like all the other characters. So, um, here, I'm just kind of doing a basic sketch design of her, of how I want her to look. Um, her hair, I knew I wanted to be in pigtails, and I was kind of unsure of how I wanted, like, her, like, the, like, where her legs would be. I don't, at first I try, I wanted to try, like, a, uh, a kind of mist kind of thing, I guess. Like, she doesn't have legs, she's kind of a being, and, um, but I didn't like that. And here, I'm working on that. Um, I wanted to give her bigger and better horns. I made them more antler-like um, to kind of show her her big bad powerfulness that she is um, as she is the, the greatest power there in Dragomir. So uh, just kind of fixing it because it was very tilted and uneven. It was really bothering me and all that stuff and just drawing in these gems that she has. She was very tilted, and her shoulder, like her shoulders, were uneven, and it was just, everything was just bothering me. And I, I very much tried to fix it, but I just couldn't. So I just kind of let it be. And then I was doing this kind of design where it's kind of like sh big shoulder pads that go out anyway. So I just kind of then was like, okay, I'll just leave it. It's not really going to be noticeable once I draw these shoulder pads and all that stuff. So. I've been. I'm also looking at a lot of references of uh, different kinds of designs of goddesses and stuff, and I knew the general idea. I knew I wanted her to have um, multiple arms, as it's kind of a cool look for a very powerful being. And I tried to do this hand style w from this picture, but I didn't like it. And then I tried this other style, but then I didn't like that, so I changed it to her. Just kind of having her palm open and out facing us um, so I liked it I was fine with it she I liked her multiple arms and yeah as she can see through them I knew for her horns I wanted some sort of design I didn't want some very grand design I knew I wanted her to somehow like have some decoration on her horns but nothing too too much so I just added a few I don't know things here and there and I also knew just like her old design I knew I wanted her to have something that kind of floats behind her before it was just kind of like a scarf like thing now it's just a big old uh, I don't know circle moon like thing I don't know I got it based off of a design um, of a tohu character um, so I kind of liked it and then adding some gems I was gonna do a little bit more with this but I kind of liked the whole um, gem eye thing. I don't know what you want to kind of call it, but where it's eyes, where it kind of seems like multiple eyes looking at you, but they're really just gems, so I really liked that idea, and I used it. So kind of one of the most difficult parts I was having was how I was going to start with the line art. It was a little bit difficult to see where I wanted to start. So I just kind of started from the top with the gems and then I just went to her hair and all that stuff. And I just kind of went from there. There was so much to line art and draw that it was... At first when I sketched her it was kind of overwhelming. Because I was like, oh, I got all, I got so much to, I have so much to line art and then color in and stuff. Especially the way I wanted to do her hair. Um, her hair is a very detailed kind of way. Kind of like I did with Celestia's and Luna's hair. I kind of wanted to give it that kind of flowy, detail-y look. Um, instead of just having it a plain, boring, anime-esque style. So. And I added on a little, like a bracelet thing because I thought she should have a little bit of jewelry on there instead of just having her plain old arms and I thought it looked nice. I do also do that later 
so for other arms too. And I'm d what I'm doing here is I'm copying and pasting her sides as it's a lot easier to just do one side and then just copy and paste it, flip it, and then just add it on as um, it kind of gives you less time and it gives you a more accurate thing. Especially if it's the same on each side, then it's just as simple as doing one side, then copy paste, and then flip it. It's not the worst thing. It's not like it's, I mean, it's kind of cheating, but at the same time, it's not. It's just a faster way. And I was kind of in a rush doing all this as I am leaving. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm kind of doing the same here with her horns. Um, I'm doing one side of her horns, and then I'm going to be copy and pasting all that as, and stuff. And I wanted to give a look with the the kind of decorations on her horns that they are kind of on her horns so I kind of just added that and then the three rings I really liked how I did her horns so her hair was very difficult to do um, I kind of suck at the style of hair when I try to make it look kind of detail-y uh, but I just really suck at it as much as I heart as hard as I try I always just fail um, but after multiple tries and this and that, I then got the look I wanted, so I was very happy, and I kind of went a different route and made it a little more flowy -esque. I don't know what's the word you want to find, but um, I was happy with the look as it gave it, so. Just when I draw flowy hair, I want to try to just make it more of a detailed look as it makes it look more pretty, so just kind of adding on little little strands is it, to make it look like it is hair not just like I don't know like a tentacle or something <laughs> really weird analysis but that's kind of what I was seeing so I just added on a lip an extra to make it look like it is hair and just erasing the parts that and adding some parts and again I do the whole copy and pasting thing and flipping in and all that stuff and um, yeah Inside to add a little bit more kind of strands to her bangs too, so. The one thing I hate about doing the whole copy pasting flipping thing is that it's so hard to determine if it is, if it's like balanced, if it looks right, because I hate it when it's not. And here I get the colors, but I then just skip that over, so. I was getting a color palette and I knew I wanted to do a teal color for her, um, as I like the as teal is a very pretty color to me and I wanted her to look more pretty and like you you could go up to her but she would still look kind of big she's which she would still like kind of look menacing and stuff so I'm doing kind of the design work and stuff and it's kind of hard to figure out colors as I have as with stuff like this it's kind of hard for me to figure out the the colors without making it look too much um, the same color multiple times and stuff, so. I liked how it came out. Her hair, I knew exactly how I wanted to do her hair. I wanted to go from dark to light. So, I'm doing white as it was kind of the easiest color I could do. And it was just the color I picked randomly to fill in her whole hair. Even though it's gonna be on the very ends. So, here I'm doing her hair. It was kind of fun. I like doing hair like this where it goes darker to lighter. And it makes her look more... I don't know if mysterious is the word, but it just makes her look more pretty. I really like it. So here I'm figuring out her horns. I knew exactly what, I, what color I wanted her horns, so it wasn't that difficult. Now the jewelry, or yeah, jewelry, I guess this would be the, ar the horn jewelry, was was kind of difficult because I have a hard time with armor. Um, just making, I don't like, I mean, I could do it just a simple lazy way and stuff, but I like to kind of make it look like it is armor and, or, or, you know, like a metal. Um, so it, it was a little difficult, but I, I liked how it came out, and it does kind of give you the feel that, hey, it is, it is a shiny object. As I suck at doing shiny objects. <laughs> Funny enough. Do 
Doing the rings was a little difficult, but I then soon figured it out. As always. I was gonna make her, the headpiece, look like it was a metal, but I decided against that, and then I just decided to do the, ge the, uh, the gems, as it makes them look more pretty. And I, and I don't really think that the headpiece needs to be some kind of metal. Doing this part, I don't know what you would necessarily call this, but this big old circle thing. Um, was really hard to do to make it look like it was metal. I did kind of figure it out and I do kind of like it, not super much, but it's like whatever. Um, but it was alright and, and stuff, so. Um, but I do really like how this turned out with the, the gems looking like the eyes and then there was just extra gems and stuff, so I really liked how this came out. I was kind of being quick with it as I was like, oh, I was. You know, they're just all going to be gems on there, so. One thing I absolutely almost forgot was her other arms, but then as I looked at it, I was like, there's something not seeing, and then I'm like, oh, right, her arms. So I'm doing the same thing again, where I do one side, and then I copy-paste it, and then I just do it on the other side and stuff, as, as I've been doing a lot here. It's just so much more convenient and a lot easier to do. So, I wanted. I didn't draw her claws. I usually, when I do claws, I usually draw them on in the line art. Um, I don't draw them in sketch usually. So, I knew I wanted her extra arms to have claws, and her two, I guess, normal arms to not have claws really. But I really liked how it came out. One thing I then decided to do was she has eyes on her extra arms, which gives it a cooler kind of look. So, as she sees through her eyes, um, not through her eyes on her head, but eyes on her extra arms. So I thought that was a cool little thing that I came up with. and A lot of little nooks and crannies to have to fill in, but... You know, you can't get every single spot. You just gotta fill it in yourself. With being a little quick with doing the metal, the metal bands on her, her arm. I'm, I, I really like how they came out though. They, they look, they look really nice. I was gonna do a different color, like after I finished it and I looked at it, I was like, oh, I should change it. But then I'm like, no. So I didn't change it, and I think it looks great as it is anyway. Her eyes on her hands, I wasn't sure I was going to do a more duller color for her irises, but I decided against it. So, But she looks great as always, and I absolutely love her. Adding the color palette, there was so much to put in that it was kind of difficult to know to what put with what without copying the same color, but yeah. So this is her. Hope you enjoyed. Bye. <laughs>